is it alright if I pose like that? Or perhaps like this? I'm just so excited to get my portrait done. Okay, maybe like this with my hands like that. Oh, sorry, one sec. Ah, oh, it's my phone. It's just a tweet from Burr. Aaron Burr. I think it's in like Sweden or something. The poor man is trying to regain his fortunes in Europe. <laughs> Amusing, isn't it? Anyway, is the light shining perfectly on my stern yet endearing face? Yes, perfect. Let us start then. How many children do I have? Five, six, maybe seven. Maybe seven actually. It's actually so hard to keep track of these things, you know. I even adopted a new child. Well, yes, it is the trend of nowadays. A trend that I am starting actually, because I have decided I would be the mother of all children whose parents have met a terrible and gruesome death. Yes, actually this boy I've just adopted lost his parents in a fire. I know, how terribly sad. And my children, my own children, lost their father in a duel. Yes, I mean, who doesn't know that? But anyway, my point is, I want to be the mother of all these children who have lost their parents in a tragic accident. I mean, I know that, given the time periods, these are pretty common deaths, but still, someone must care for the orphans. Do you have any children? Ralph, do you? I'm asking you, Ralph, do you have any children of your own? You have a son? Oh, that is so cute. Well, just so you know, I am perfectly ready to mother that child if you can't take care of him. Yes, I am, I am. I mean, well, I'm telling you this because I've heard people talking and, you know, people like to talk and, well, I've heard that you're going to jail soon. And, well, hopefully, hopefully, the money I'm paying you for this portrait will, you know, buy your way out. But, you know, just in case, I mean, if anything, if anything at all were to happen to you, Ralph, I mean, I mean, an accident happened so fast, you know? Well, rest assured that if anything, if anything happened to you, and I mean, you drink quite a lot, you know? Who knows what could really happen? And you could, I mean, you could fall off the stairs and break your neck. Well, if that were to happen, well, rest assured that your son, your son, would be in very good and capable hands. Mine. What do you mean, stop talking? I haven't moved one bit. Show me, show me the painting. Show me the canvas. I know, you've just started. Show it to me. Oh, you've only started painting my hands. Why do you care if my lips are moving? Good lord, you are quite demanding for a painter who's going to jail. Fine, I won't speak, I won't speak. I'll stay silent as a tomb, pretty as a picture, Pretty, that is me, I'm very pretty. You know, I might not be a 23-year-old blonde, but I am still pretty and young enough to get my portrait done, wouldn't you agree? Oh, I'm not angry, I'm not bitter, I'm not... Well, you know, I'm just thinking about that because, I mean, how would you feel if your significant other had had an affair for the whole world to see? Oh no, well, you know. I have forgiven my husband, Alexander, a long time ago, before he died. And actually, I've had spent most of my days, the rest of my life, really, trying to undo the damages of this affair, of his last years on this earth, and trying to protect his legacy, which was quickly forgotten because of this affair, you know? I mean, if you, today you can enjoy, you know, musicals and books and movies and it's all fun and games well that's all thanks to me elizabeth hamilton because i have been you know protecting his legacy and make i've been making sure that everything was kept and you know kept in order but anyway if anyone is to be blamed for this unfortunate filthy affair 
it has to be President James Monroe. Well, of course, he leaked the affair and he made me look like a fool. I mean, Alexander and Maria may have, you know, fooled around, which, you know, I don't appreciate it, but the true responsible for all this mess is no doubt Monroe, yes, who brought, who brought shame to our name. I will never forgive him. I cannot forgive him. Ralph, Ralph, I cannot forgive him. I will not. I won't. No, I won't. But on the other hand, if he were to die of a, you know, unexpected, brutal, tragic death, I mean, if he, if he had a horrible, terrible accident, I would, of course, of course, care for his children and place them in my institution, in my private orphanage in New York, because children shouldn't be held responsible or blamed for their parents' madness, and I've well, I've made the promise to be a mother of all these poor, poor children. I mean, saving my name, my, you know, securing my place in society, my fortune, my house, the good old Grange. Well, it was no child's play. As much as I love children, it was no child's play. I mean, you would expect that I'm good at spending and saving, and I mean... I basically helped creating the national financial system. So I guess, you know, I've always been a great economist. And, you know, I mean, the system I've helped create is still in use in the United States today. So, I mean, how do you think I can even afford this portrait? Well, I have been keeping the whole family on a very, very, very tight budget. But you know, when you have Christian faith and a lot of love and charity and generosity and love and a lot of love in your heart, well, anything is possible. Anything. Anything at all. I mean, our orphanage in New York would be the perfect place for your son. Little Ralph Jr., how do you call him? Ralph Lisa. Ralph Little. Okay, well, little Ralph Lisa could be my next charity work and it would be amazing. I mean, my last little protege, I was talking about him just before this boy I adopted. He just recently died at the Mexican War. How awful, can you imagine? I cared for the young boy. Ever since he lost his parents, I paid for his education, I have found him a good place, you know, I, and then just, you know, gone. One, one cannonball is all it took, one cannonball, and he was gone. Yes, life is short, that is for sure. But this portrait that you're painting, this portrait will last forever. Forever it will last. A whole minute, I just got a text. Can you put the brush down? Yeah, okay. Oh my god, it's from Monroe, from James Monroe. Can you actually believe it? We were literally just speaking about the man. Oh my god, he wants to bury the hatchet. <laughs> it's, it's a joke. Okay, do you want me to read what he just like written to me? Okay, okay, listen to that. All right. Then again, the truth is, I am really here to start problems. Girl, I swear to God, them hoes can never say they got him. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is this text? <laughs> I mean, I don't care whether a hose can say they've got Hamilton or not. I mean, it's still his fault. I mean, he was here to start problems in the first I don't even want to get into it. You know what? I can't believe my eyes. No lapse of time, no nearness to the grave will make any difference. This man, James Monroe, shall never be welcome to my house. Anyway, can I have a look at the painting? Mm, can you make me more look can you make me look more alive, you know, like um I don't know, like try and do it with more duete, like, 
you know, your hands should be as light as a feather. Um, yeah, go on and try. I'd like to have a bit of, you know, glow on the nose, tip of the nose, on the cheekbones, on the tip of my chin, and my forehead, you know, I want, I want that glow, you know. I really want that glow, you know. Bounce that brush, like, yeah, bounce it, bounce that brush, yeah. Yeah, you got it, okay, okay. And okay, I'll pose again. Oh my god, hold the brush. I'm so sorry, I just got another text, yet another text. I hope it's not Monroe. I mean, I've ignored it. The message should be like, you know, he should have understood. I don't want to speak to him. Alright, what is it? Oh, it's Angelica and Peggy. They're my sisters. They want to have lunch together. Well, I guess we'll have to take a break then. Mm, well, I don't have anything on me. I don't have any money on me, so I can't pay you right now, but I'll pay you next time and, you know, you don't have to worry. As you know, the Hamilton always pay their debts. <laughs>